radicals. The rules that we use for radicals are similar to exponents. For example, here we have root x. Root x. So for example, if you have root 25, you know that we're looking for a number that when you multiply by itself, you get 25. So the answer is 5. So the square root of 25, the square root of 25 is 5. Or if you have 5 squared and you write it uh, under the radical, you see that these two is the second root, is the square root of 5 squared. These two cancel out. So it just becomes 5. The answer is 5. Now if you have x here, it is actually x to the power of 1, and that one is to the power of, it is the square root, or the second root of x. You can write it as x to the power of 1 half. So the radicals, you can write it as exponent. Any radical that you have, you can write it as an exponent. For example, if you have the cubic root of x to the power of 2, the answer is, you can write it as exponent, the root here is the power in the denominator part, so it is 3, and the power here is 2. So it is x to the power of 2 thirds. x to the power of 2 thirds. If you have the fifth root of, uh, let's say, x to the power of uh, 3, then the answer, if you write it as exponent, is 3 to the power of so x to the power of 3 fifths. 3. The power is in the numerator part and the root is the denominator part. If you have two numbers, for example, if you have the root, it is the square root of xy. So you can write x to the power of 1 half times y to the power of 1 half. It is 2. The square is 2. If it is the square is 3, and you have x squared y. Then you can write x to the power of 2 thirds. This is 2 this is the power and 3 is the cube. And y to the power of 1 third. So the radicals are similar to exponents. There are some rules for adding and subtracting multiplying radicals. Let's take a look at the examples here. Root 0 means that we're looking for a number when you Multiply that number by itself, you get 0. So it is 0. Where root 1 is actually 1. Means that 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 0 is 0. Root 49, a number times itself is 49. So the answer is 7. The cubic root of three is 8. So remember that 8, you can write it as 8. You can write it here 2 times 2 times 2, or you can write it as 2 cubed. So for cubic root of 2 cubed, these two cancel out, and the answer is just 2. So it means that 2 times itself 3 times, you get 8. The cubic root of A is 2. Now here, multiplying two radicals, first you can simplify them. Root 4 is 2 times 2. The answer is 4. The cubic root of 3 and cubic root of 3. So there is a rule here. When the roots, the roots are the same, means that it is cubic root of 3. Cubic root of 3, if it was, for example, square root of 2 and square root of 2. These two are similar. Then, for that one, it's just 2 root 2. If you remember the rules, you have x plus x. In algebra, we say 2x. So root 2 plus root 2 is 2 root 2. Cubic root of 3 plus cubic root of 3 is just 2 cubic root of 3. Root 7 plus root 7 is 2 root 7. 5 root 6 minus 3 root 6 is 2 root 6. 4 root 5 times, this time we need to multiply, so we need to multiply the whole numbers, 4 times 2 is 8, and root 5 times root 5 is root 25, so times, 8 times root 25, root 25 is just 5, 8 times 5 is 40, 
root 3 plus root 3 is 2 root 3. Root 7 plus root 7 is the same thing that we did here. 5 root 6 minus 3 root 6 is just 2 root 6. Uh, is the same thing that we have here. And that one is just the repeating of this.